Hey guys, Rodney here from the other six days. Sorry, it's been a little bit of a, a little while since I've uh, been a little more interactive with y'all. And um, it's been good. Been not working much, but spending time with the family and getting all those things done that I wasn't getting done for the past few years around the house. So that's it's, it's good. But um, can't help but notice what's going on in the world, aside from the COVID situation. And we were reminded again the other day that there's a lot of intolerance and injustice in this world. And um, sadly, it's kind of been there since creation got broken by sin. And what came across my, uh, my feed today was uh, uh, an organization that I love. Compassion Canada, they, in one of their posts, they posted Micah 6 8. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and read that just as a little refresher. <clears throat> he has shown you, O oh man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justly, to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God? These were the instructions given um, by the Lord to Micah to the people of Israel. And if you read, the whole chapter you see that it's uh, uh, God is calling out their sin and, and kind of asking them to, uh, to reconcile again um, but as a Christian how does this apply well for starters uh, I want to remind everybody that God reads your Facebook account he reads your Instagram he reads your Twitter well he doesn't read them he knows what you're typing when you type it he knows your heart and so we need to remember those things and we need to remember um as we are out there and uh and getting all excited over things and 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 acting in a manner contrary to what he would desire us to do that um he knows uh, i always say you know if you're typing something look over your shoulder and assume that Jesus is there because he is he's there with every keystroke and he knows your heart behind it now yeah we get angry we get frustrated things happen um, and so often we'll we'll say well you know but it's you know but it's wrong and I'm, I'm it's, it's a righteous anger really Perhaps there's seeds of righteousness in the anger, but let's face it, most of the time the anger is ours. And it's not necessarily all righteous. It's it's our righteousness. And I see Christians doing things that Christians shouldn't do. And not that we don't all fall and make mistakes and, and, and have make bad choices and do and do foolish things at times, but the sentiment and the attitude and the heart behind some of these things it's disturbing it's like do justly love mercy walk humbly with your god i can go through all the social media feeds i want and i'll find that a lot of people um definitely walk not walking humbly with their god definitely not showing mercy or loving mercy i should say and uh, doing justly and I think we need to dig into that a little bit more a lot more um, I could go on with more scripture to support but the, uh, the point is the world kind of sucks right now and if you're looking for um, something to make it all better outside of Christ you're barking up the wrong tree he's the only one better and he will make it better one day but right now the world's broken and for Christians to run around there and screaming how our rights are being violated guess what we are not citizens of this place we don't really have any rights but what we do have is a privilege and a, and a responsibility and the honor of being allowed and asked to share the gospel so if you really want to do some damage you really want to you really want to make some waves you get out there in any way you can 
and share the gospel of Jesus Christ because that is the only thing that will make a difference beyond this tangible world that we're in that is so so broken and so corrupt right now and it has been since the fall of man he keeps saving us but we keep stepping on his toes and kind of spitting at him and we need to stop and we need to walk as he would desire us to walk so do what I do especially I do a lot of social media skim over your feed skim over the comments you're making stop when you're typing before you hit submit or send and think about it and think if Jesus was hanging over my shoulder right now would I still hit submit love y'all and uh, hopefully we'll all get together soon in a building not that that's all that important just gathering any way we can is, is wonderful Love y'all. Later. And remember one thing. That Mike is 6'8". It's more than just a meme. It's more than just song lyrics. It's the word of God. And it's our marching orders. <laughs>